Welcome back to the Kids Kindness Club, guys. I hope you've had a great week. I'm just practicing my keepy uppies, but oh, I'm not very good at them yet. But I know if I keep practicing and keep learning, I'm gonna get better and better. You see, learning something new is something that's really great for our well-being. Because when you learn something new, it releases a natural chemical in the brain called dopamine. And that goes through the body and it helps us feel good. That same chemical is released when we do something fun or we receive something that we've always wanted or when we experience kindness. <gasps> How amazing is that? So learning something new isn't just about doing well on a test or doing well at school. It's actually good for your mental and physical health. So stay tuned because this week's kindness challenge is all about learning Something new. <laughs> okay guys, we are gonna learn something together right now. We are gonna learn how to say something in Makaton. Now Makaton is a unique language that uses signs, speech, and symbols to enable people to communicate. And here to teach us some Makaton are the amazing Oscar and Flo and their mummy Sarah. So over to you guys. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna learn some Makaton. Can you say, please, come and play with me? Good job. Over to you, Greg. Yes, we learned something new. Amazing. Sarah, Oscar, Flo, thank you so much for teaching us that. Guys, can you remember what we just learned in Makaton there? We learned, hello, please come and play with me. Can you all give that a shot? Let's try again. Hello, please come and play with me. Yes, well done team, fantastic. Now gang, I've got an update from a very special lady called Judy. Uh, you'll remember Judy from a couple of weeks ago. Judy, who has recently been separated from her husband George, who has now been put into a care home. And it was the first time in 50 years that they've been separated. And Judy was feeling very sad and lonely. I told you all about Judy and oh my goodness, you guys made the most beautiful heartfelt cards, sent messages and sent the most beautiful things to Judy. And well, have a look at this. Judy sent us this picture with all of your cards and all of the things that you've made for her. And oh my goodness, she also wrote this especially for you. Dear Kids Kindness Club, thank you so much for all of your lovely paintings, pictures and kind messages. They have helped me so much and I am so grateful to you all. I feel much better now and getting used to life living apart from my lovely husband George. You are all so kind and it makes me very happy to think of such lovely, kind children like you. I know you will grow up to be lovely, kind, caring people who will continue to help others. With all good wishes, Judy. Ah, <gasps> Guys, that is all thanks to you. Thank you so much. We are so proud of you and I hope you're proud of yourselves. We couldn't have asked for a kinder bunch to be part of our Kids Kindness Club. So thank you so, so much. Well done. It's time to announce last week's competition winners. Oh my goodness, remember last week we learned all about insects and how important they are and how they really help make this world go round. Uh, and you've been out in the gardens completing our Love Bugs worksheet and you've been looking for insects, drawing pictures of them, noticing what they're up to and what they're doing. And we'll have a look at some of these entries. These are incredible, guys. You make my life so difficult because it's so hard to choose a winner. They're all absolutely fantastic. And look, there's Ava and Jensen, and they've named their snails that they found, Gary and Stephen. Love it, love that. And all of you have been out there really noticing the wonderful insects and wildlife that we have in our beautiful world here. So well done everyone. But as ever, I can only announce two winners or choose two winners. So I'm gonna announce them now. And the first winner without further ado is, I've forgotten. <laughs> it is Matthew. <laughs> 
<laughs> well done, Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, we absolutely loved your drawing. Oh my goodness, they're absolutely fantastic. You, you, you noticed so many different things. A tortoiseshell butterfly, a green fly, and a harlequin ladybird. And you've drawn the most beautiful pictures of them as well. And just labeled what they were doing. And oh, well done. Brilliant, brilliant. So a 10 pound book, a toy voucher is on its way to you. Now, the next winner, without further ado, is <gasps> Noah! Yes, congratulations, Noah. Have a look at this. And you saw a bumblebee, a red spider, and ants. And what were they doing? And this is the bit that I particularly loved. What were they doing? They were playing together. Oh, how amazing. What a wonderful world. What a kind and wonderful world. So Noah, loved your picture, loved what you saw. Uh, a 10 pound book or toy voucher is on its way to you. And well done, everyone. Honestly, they were all so, so good. Oh, oh my goodness. This is really hard juggling with socks. Oh. Okay, gang, your kindness challenge this week is... Oh, don't worry, it's not juggling. Your kindness challenge this week is to learn something new. And not just one thing, you're gonna learn four things this week. All you have to do is complete our learn something new activity sheet. And you're gonna learn how to say I am kind in four different languages. Spanish, Italian, French, and a language of your choice. It could even be Makaton or another form of sign language. But guys, go away, have fun doing this. And remember, learning new things isn't just good for the world, it's also good for our well-being. Have fun, gang, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.